welcome to another fishing adventure. I'm Giddo and I'm just out here at this remote section of coastline, just brought the boat out. I'm gonna spend the next five days camping out here, collecting my dinner from the ocean, exploring the place, just checking it all out solo. First up, we need to find somewhere we can get this boat for sure. So let's get stuck into that. This is a good option. Option one. Let's go in there for a look. This looks kind of cool. Oh, we got a seal here. Oh wow, it's so calm in here. It's low tide right now, which sucks for our uh, landing. I reckon I can go up there. That looks good. Just need to make sure I can get back out of it. That's all. Geez, so nice in here. Alright, let's drop anchor. <clears throat> Come on. Let's make this happen. We're going to get our boat up here. Then to get it back down, I'm just going to go this way and I'll, I'll have a winch system on that and then back in there. I'm all ready to go for a hike. I've just, I've got everything up, got the boat up. I'm rushing now because there's a school of bait right here and I'm going to go fire a cast in. Let's see. It could just be bait or there could be fish in the bait. Let's find out. They're heading out a bit now. <clears throat> Just hazards, I think. But while I'm here, I'm gonna have a slow cast over the bottom now. And then we're about to go for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk, go for an explore, take the fly rod, take the light outfit, try and catch something for dinner and see if we can find a groper to sight cast at. Bit of both. So this is a cool zone. We might move on soon. A couple more cars here. And I think we'll go past another spot. We'll just keep moving. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's one. Look at the size of that one. Oh, this is pretty sick fun. And then I'm gonna have to try and wash them up over there. I didn't bring my landing net. Oh yep, yeah, here's one. It's keen. Come on, that's a big gripe already. There we go, this reel's got some drag, finally. Just a greenie. Much better. 
Come back this way. Much bigger wave. Uh oh. Alright. I was like, crap, don't wash me off my feet. That won't be pretty. There we go. First fish of the trip, solid western blue groper, looking a bit green. So that means it's a female and there's some bigger ones out there. But um, there's the fly of choice right there. There we go. Alright, let's go release it. <sighs> Let's see if we can catch a harlequin instead. And have a cast or two here and look we have a groper right here just come out from under the thing i'm on let's get him a stick boat let's try get him on a stick boat gotta have a bit of fun oh here comes one that's a big one what is is that a groper that's a big groper is that it? Yeah, that's a big groper. Let's get the fly rod out instead. Here we go. Have you ever seen a groper with its shoulders out of the water people because you just did here we go All right, he's going, let's try this now. This would be pretty cool. If he chases this. A bit fussy this one. Although you wouldn't normally expect a groper to eat a stick bait.
This is nice. Beautiful spot. Got something out of there. What is it? Hey, breaks the card. There we go. There's one good fish. It's a good start. That's dinner, pretty much, right there. Um, tasty little break sea cod. Put that fish in the, a bit of a shady crack there, but I'm not gonna leave it there for long. So, let's go have another quick cast or two. All right, I'm gonna take my fish, drop it in the esky, come back here with some more fishing gear and sit back and uh, wait for something big to eat a live herring. Surely there'll be a few herring in here somewhere. Yep, heads are out there already. First cast. Then I think I might just go um get my plucky and cast out a bit. Oh we got hazards in here now. Here we go. Alright, I've been waiting for over an hour now. Nothing's happened. It is so windy I can't fish it any other way other than other than if I threw a bait in or I have a live bait. It's a scary looking ocean. I would not want to be out there in the boat. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to pack up. I'm going to head back to camp and I'm probably going to get some shade. All right, it's done finally. But uh, there we go. It's facing this way because the wide end is uphill. So that's fine with me. Probably the other way around would scoop more wind in anyway. And I'm going to throw a whole bunch of stuff in there so it doesn't blow away. Or like, so it doesn't flap so much at least. I'm going to fill it with this quickly and then we're going to go find somewhere uh, to tuck out of the wind and cook up. Dinner served. I was so hungry I started eating just immediately and it is good. So good. 
and there's plenty of uh, fish for round two if I want it, which I probably will. We'll make two of these, I reckon. Bit of a slower start this morning. I slept in because I woke up to an early alarm and I could hear that wind already. I was like, nah, stuff that. I'm going back to sleep. Just been tinkering around here. I've got my backpack ready, got Burley in my backpack and some crabs that I collected last night. I'm just taking the fly rod and the light. And I also have just thrown the solar panel out. I've clipped it in because I'm worried the damn thing will blow away when that wind gets really strong. Um, and that will recharge that so I can top up my drone battery and maybe if I get a chance and it's not so windy I'll actually fly my drone anyway let's um let's go that way we're gonna hike that way and fish up there and hopefully be hidden out of the wind I think I'm just gonna cast as I go I'll do a couple of casts here we'll move up fairly soon Come on, on the drop. What do we got? Oh, Saji Baker. Okay. Well, these things are an interesting looking fish. Dragonfish. Anyway, they are not very good eating. I've heard of them being eaten as sashimi by someone actually, but um. It's early days. I'm going to chug it back. Oh, this is a nice ledge. I'm going to put my stuff down here in the shade and we're going to go have a look at that but I am hot I need a drink of water oh. just throwing a bunch of burley in and I have a bit of an oil slick happening so hopefully they'll bring a couple of fish around I only brought the light outfit with me and if a big groper shows up I have a fly set up with a flexo crab on there so. let's um oh. Fire cast out, tip wrap. I get that a little bit sometimes. I might need to change my later. I'm getting it more than usual at the moment. Oh, that's not a rest. Yeah, it looks like a break seat card. Sick first cast. Sometimes a bit of burly brings them out. Well, that'll be dinner yet again fat little very dark colored brake sea cod all right let's go again there we go that feels all right come on be a harlequin or something feels a bit like it Not lifting. Big brake sea cut, I think. Yeah, it is too. Nice. Sick. It was on his side, he would not lift. That's a that's a good size from such shallow water. There we go. That's a nice size brake sea cut right there. Stoked with that. 
Looks like we might even have some fish to take home if we uh, keep this up. So dinner is sorted for tonight, that's for sure. Beautiful spot, nice and calm today. There's like no swell. Judging by the barnacles being this high, all the way up, I'd say it normally gets waves washing up a lot higher and it's also low tide. So two things to make this a very safe, easy spot to fish right now. I just saw a harlequin fish just down there, come up to the surface. Can you see me? Is that the problem? Oh, yep. Oh, he's, he's harassing other fish, but he's not so interested in my crab fly. He's chasing another fish away, I think. He's being strange and territorial. I just saw him dart out and chase the other fish that I thought might have been a harlequin, but I don't think it was. All right, I might try on a different fly. What are we going to try? Does he want something big or something small? Not sure. They're normally pretty greedy guts. Let's go something big. Terrible cast, but anyway. Into that wind is horrible. I can't get it up there. Will he come back through now? Come on. I really want to get a harlequin fish on more like an 8 or 9 weight or even a 7, something a bit more sporting I only have the 12 weight on me so Oh he's back That's him there If I don't get him this cast I'm going to drop my fly down there to him He's under the ledge He's just sitting under there, eating everything. I don't think I got him. Slightly disappointed about that. Just got him. Bugger, I should have got him on the fly. Anyway, he likes that. Stoked on that, anyway. Came in like a lump of seaweed just then. There we go. We got it in the end. I really wanted to catch it on fly, although it wouldn't have been very sporting anyway. But nice size harlequin fish. This one's a male because it's all blue spots. Took a liking to the placky. I just flicked it in because I knew it was sitting down under the ledge there and it ate it on the drop. Done. There we go. I'm going to head back down, flick a lure in a couple more times for a while and we'll start walking back shortly might spend the afternoon collecting a couple of abalone for dinner let's see if there's anything down under here because quite often good fish will sit straight under the burly bag oh that harlequin did hmm that was a bit of a snag. Absolutely stunning. 
I just want to jump in for a swim. Might go for a little dip back, back at camp, just somewhere safe, because uh, you definitely get white pointers out here, and they're very hard to see when they're not over a sandy bottom. So. Now that I'm finally back at camp, I think I'm going to jump in, have a quick swim, freshen up. I'm sweating like anything under here. And probably try to find a couple of abalone while I'm at it. Just been in for a quick dip, very refreshing. I can see a couple of abalone around already, so I'm just going to get my little spatula, pluck a couple off. They're just sort of jammed in the crack. They do like these sort of locations normally. There we go. Not bad, I'm just washing some of that grit off of them. It's got no suction now, but it's so wedged, I don't know if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. It's a good size one. That's one of the biggest rowies I think I've caught. That'd be Maybe 110 for thumper. Huge thing for a rowie. All right, time to start prepping dinner. These are actually going to go home. I'm going to fillet them and vac seal them, and then I'm going to have um, harlequin fish for dinner. One side of harlequin fish. And I'm going to bag up one side of the harlequin fish and take and cook the other side for dinner. I don't need to cook both sides. I wouldn't even be able to eat it. I'll be stoked to actually have some fish to take home. Because I don't actually have any in the freezer at the moment, I think. Or maybe hardly any. Maybe just some squid. Do we want a cheek? Let's try. Let's see what we can get out of a cheek. There we go, peels off. And peels off. Three, four, five. I think that's heaps. Because I've got abalone to go with that. I reckon vacuum sealing your fish is a brilliant idea whether you freeze it or not it makes it ants crawling on me it makes it stay fresh so much longer so this is going in the esky and i'm going to take it home for the family i just hope that they all last long enough i wish i had a bigger water bottle they have been in the sun a little bit but now they're in the shade hopefully this is better you can often just pull them away from their shell. No, it's wanting to tear. I'll give it a little cut. Pull them away. Slice off that section. Need a good, clean, polished, non-gritty rock. That'll do and give it a bash it's one abalone patty ready to go I'm gonna throw that in there with all the other fish and panko breadcrumbs shake it around 
just leave it in the shade until dinner's ready and we'll repeat. The cooking is probably the most important part though. Cook them right, they're tender. Cook them wrong, they go chewy. It's gonna go to abalone to start with. Chuck a bit of that on for seasoning. Oh, spitting oil everywhere. Thanks for that. Yeah. All right, I reckon they're about done. Well, maybe I should just put it direct on the ab. Very fat abalone, I almost wonder if I should have cooked it more. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. That's better. This one just had that slightest bit of uncookedness in it, I think. It's not going to hurt me, because it's fresh as. I feel like it, well, should have a little bit of spice and then I go do that to it. Anyway, one of the pieces will be more spicy than the rest. I'm going to slice this abalone. Trying to use this salad up as fast as possible because it's going to go off soon. Bit of salt and pepper. Cupy. I've got so much more fish to cook as well. Could have about three of these. Day two done. We have a really good meal to finish it off. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my dinner, sit back, watch the sunset, and uh, hide from the wind, which I'm kind of doing at the moment. Good morning, it's about 6.30, just gotten up, got all my gear in my bag, gonna take the fly rod, gonna take a light and a heavy. Mostly I just wanna use the fly rod because there's not much wind and we're gonna go around the back and see if we can sight cast some groper. We'll take the net as well, so. Bit of catch and release for first thing this morning if we are successful, let's go get it. The zone I want to fish is a lot more washy than um, than it was on day one actually. I thought it would be calmer. Anyway, we're going to go, we'll go over there, we'll try it. It's just, it might be alright. Let's go try. Put my PFD on, put my socks on so I don't slip. It's, the rocks are wet, which I don't like. But I thought the swell was meant to be less today than uh, last time I was here. That was all dry as, and I could see into here. So yeah, this is not looking ideal. I can't see anything in there right now. I can't sight cast. I'm gonna have to pull the pin on this one. Might fly the drone up, have a look in there. Have a look at that zone. Otherwise we're gonna go fish back over there.
That other spot looks incredible for some deep water fishing with probably just the conventional gear. Not so good for the fly fishing. So I'm gonna go back over the sheltered side and I reckon we'll try that area over there tomorrow morning. We'll give it a go, put some burley in, take the normal gear, try to get some big Harleys, maybe a nanny. We'll go give it a shot then. Anyway, let's go fish the other side. Oh, it's a fish. What have we got? Feels all right or is it jagged? We got a harlequin and a lump of weed. Straight out of here. That's not bad. Harlequin and a lump of weed. Nice little chunky harlequin to start the morning off. And there's dinner sorted already. I'm um, going to do fish curry tonight, so that's done, easy. <sighs> Don't seem to be any groper here that are interested at the moment. If there were any with any interest, they would follow the plastic in or they'd come snooping around but they're all out and about somewhere else right now how is it you just i've so packed up and it shows up it's right here he's a good size well he's straight for it It's incredible to watch this happen. He's not massive, but he's a reasonable sized groper. I'm just trying not to. Oh, there's a smaller one that's just come in and seems keen as. I think that smaller one might be going to eat my plaque if I'm not careful. If I catch a smaller one, we might keep it. So he went for the eight. He's come back though. I didn't get a good hook set. I thought he was on it. He's just obviously just giving it a feel. He's gone for it again. Little one's on it. I don't want the little one. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Don't even need a cast. I'm trying to feel. <clears throat> the little one was on it. 
Oh, the big one's gone. He wasn't he wasn't my trophy size, but he was still decent. And the other one's gone with him. Is that a fish? It is too. I thought it was a snag. I thought I was in the weed. We've got a fish on coming in like a harlequin fish as well. Just a heavy weight with a few little head shakes here and there. Big Harley, yep. Sick. Oh, not that big actually. Just got a bit of weed on it. That did not take long at all. Just another cast. He's got he's got a full belly, I can feel that. Or she rather. Yellow spots are females, so. Oh yeah, here's the groper. Let's see if it will eat this. I'll bring it in. Got him. Oh yep. I was ready for a bit more than that. You gonna go again? Yeah, there we go. Drag's a bit too tight for him. I can't even see that plastic. I think he scoffed it, or she rather. Give her a moment. This uh, this one's probably gonna be great for curry tonight, I reckon. If we do land it. The little one. Fairly scoffed it. So that one's dinner. It's probably only about six, seven kilo. Just a nice size groper, perfect size to eat. Already killed it and bled it, and I'll put it to the side. We'll have to fill it soon because it's not going to fit in the esky. Well, it could, but I don't want to take any ice out. I want to make it last as long as possible. So let's knock the fillets off. And then we got the vac sealer and the uh, power pack so that I can seal everything up and we'll just keep a bit of groper for dinner. One bag done. Right, oh, that's done. We got groper fillets there. Harlequin fillets. One, two, and a big chunk of groper that I cut off that's gonna go in a curry tonight for dinner, so. All right, I've chucked all the fish in the esky. Still plenty of ice in there, which is good. I was a little bit worried about it, but it's tucked up in there in a real shady spot. I'm gonna go for a hike and check out that ledge that I flew the drone over this morning because it looked really good. And then it's, it's too windy to fish it now, but I just wanna check it out. And then it's gonna just smash me with the wind this arvo. That's what the forecast is, so I'll probably just lay low somewhere maybe go for a swim when we get back chill out and cook up some dinner and hit that ledge tomorrow morning only reason why i'm bringing my backpack is it has water in it but most of all it has first aid kit and epurb just in case snakes you know i don't know what could go wrong and i'm out here all on my own talk about windy as well out here Woo. sick check this out I love this stuff, so wild. Whoa, I don't like that loose looking rock. There's a rock up there that just looks like it's waiting to go. But um, yeah, how's that, eh? Yeah, nah. Screw that.
I see no point in continuing to fish today at the moment. It is windy, very windy and hot, and I've already caught enough fish, so, you know, I might as well sit back and enjoy myself. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'll see you guys at dinner time. I was just about to jump in the ocean for a quick dip, freshen up before dinner, and I've discovered a bit of a problem here. This is my tent, obviously, my sleeping quarters. We have a quite a large tear in the fly for some reason. I mean, not the fly, in the mozzie net. I don't know how I'm going to fix it unless I can find a sewing needle. I did at one stage put a sewing needle in my kit, but I don't think I have it any longer. Nothing there. That'll suck. What about this? I could try to stick it from both sides. I have a feeling it's not going to work. It could work. I'll have to be very careful with it. And I was going to stick from the other side as well. That might actually do it, but I just have to be delicate with my zip. I had my doubts. I didn't actually think that this was going to stick on there and it may just peel off still. Seems to be working for now. All right, that's that's my problem solved for now. Cool. Swim time followed up by Gropakari. I'm just gonna go in butt naked as well, by the way. So uh, we'll see you at dinner. Don't worry, about, don't worry about the swim. We won't be filming that. Gonna start off chopping this up. Cube it pretty much, I guess you could say. bit of salt and pepper. I'm getting low though, I want to save a bit for tomorrow's dinner. The coconut cream. Looks like coconut milk more to me. Along with a big squeeze of lemon juice. I'm just going to put that on, that's my lid. And let that simmer for a while. Dinner is ready. Ease the feast. I was almost going to tip it in a bowl and then I was like, why bother? It's only one person eating, so. I think it needs another squeeze of lemon. Ooh, it's got a bit of kick to it. I like it. It's got a bit of groper right there. Still so damn hot and I let it sit for a while, but um, it's delicious. Alright, morning. I think it's about 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm glad I fixed the section to keep the mossies out, because look. That would all be in here. It would have been a nightmare. Oh, let's have a look. It's a beautiful day out here. I can hear a big diesel engine. I think there must be a big fishing boat over there. Get up, baby. Alright, let's go get it.
We are at the ledge, finally. So I'm just going to sort my gear out, get a safety rope in, and we'll start casting in there very soon. But I don't want to go too close to the edge until I have a rope on, because it's all slippery black stuff and I'll just slide into the ocean. Purple over here. I'm gonna go a green there. That's what we've gone for. Bomber! Let's go out there. There's a rock out there as well. As the sun gets higher, I should be able to see more. We got rock, obviously. There's a rock in the water there. There might be another one out there. Fish, first cast. Brakes here, yeah! Sick! That did not take long at all. Certainly I'm snagged there, hopefully, come on. Oh, no. Must have been behind a sharp edge. Hopefully we don't lose too many of these. I don't think I brought many out. Very snaggy looking ground. Let's go out that way. time I only have pilchards which is a problem because they've got to be one of the softest things out there oh it's gonna fall off the hook before I even cast it no bites makes me think it's not even making it to the bottom before it comes off the hook bait collection let's go Try the plaque first. Might just catch a good fish on it instead. See how we go. See if we can get to the bottom without getting blown away. How's the fish? This could be a good fish. Or it could not. <laughs> oh, I thought I might have had something decent. Oh, that bait. And leather jackets have snipped my plastic as well. It's called a Western Rock Blackfish. Let's get him up there quick. Fresh slab of bait, and we're going to bomb it out. Bomb it out to that bobby. And land it on top of it, so we need to come back a little. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting some bites. Got something on. Doesn't feel very big, could be a harlequin. Yeah, it is, a little harlequin.
And fish number two for the morning. Well, fish number two worth keeping anyway. Beautiful harlequin fish, quite a small one. But um, they have no size limit and they taste good regardless, so. Still got my bait. Let's go lob it back out. For now, let's go that again. fish hopefully not a rass what's it gonna be break sea cod yes small one i might chuck oh. tempted to chuck this one back put it to the side done here for the morning I uh, didn't catch terribly much, but don't know if you don't go away, as I always say. At least I caught something. Anyway, dinner's sorted, but we're going to head around to somewhere a bit calmer and fish there. Found where I'm going to fish for the afternoon, and I've set myself up my proudest invention yet. It is a rod holder in a hole in a rock, would you believe it or not? What we've done here is we've got a rope. And we've done lots of knots all over the place. There was a little bit of strategy, it's a bit messy. I came in under there and uh, voila, it seems to work. So we'll stick that in there for now. Well, I'll put a tether on my rod just in case something fails. But uh, Burley's gonna go in here and then we'll catch a herring get a slide bait rig out there and send her out. There we go, that one, two, three, four, five, that's done. So that will slide down and when it wants to come back, it kinks and it I will still come back but not as much so eventually it makes its way all the way down I'm just going to sit that there time that a click or two there we go oh it's off oh an entire cloud of them is following it in maybe we should get the drone up do some light tackle sports fishing with Hez dogs I do love these things they're awesome and they're so plentiful which is always good whoa and they're schizo sometimes yeah you're still good let's put you on Something is eating this already. I've only just slid it out. I have a bad feeling it could be a wobby going, but I hope it's just a big fat harlequin or something. Yeah, look. Just watched it doing stuff. What's the result? doesn't feel like anything to be honest oh it's come towards me yeah it has or maybe the fish was the herring didn't ever make it out before it got eaten that's what's happened I think let's see is there a fish on is this a harlequin oh it's a bit of weed and a herring all right what happened then something was having to go at it He's got teeth marks on him. Something had to go. And we have one on. First cast. Will it stay on? Yep, there's boat. Swim free, little fishy. Probably not that free, but anyway. 
I think something's having a go at it again. I might just need to wait and let it eat it properly. But look at this, something's definitely having a go. I feel like my herring hasn't even made it all the way out. I just slid that out a moment ago and something's trying to nail it already. I'm gonna let it eat it this time. Give it some time. We might just leave it to it. Oh, something broke. Do I have a herring and a slide? Did my sinker just go? Oh, we got a bit of, we got my herring weight there now. So my herring's not even making it out before something wants to eat it. In here. We lost my sinker. And it has been destroyed by something. Let's try that again. Time to slice it into cubes. One, two, three. All right, no prizes if you figured out what I'm cooking, or rather not cooking. But um, I'm gonna do break sea cod ceviche. I've done it before, it works quite well. Yellowtail kingfish would have been nice, but I didn't, didn't catch any. I have listened, and I have been squishing these lemons beforehand so let's see how they go bit of coriander that's been hanging in there for the whole trip was just waiting for this moment quick get it in there up oh, before it blows away that wind, it's been so much fun. Blows 20 knots every arvo. Guess it could be worse. Could be uh, 30 knots or something. 40 knots, oh that'd be disgusting. Put the lid on. Salt, pepper. It's last night, finish it off. Here's the chili. Chosen a nice spot to sit back and enjoy my dinner. This is my last dinner for this trip. There it is, running low on supplies. We still got uh, a bit of salad stuff somehow. We can't go past the crusty old Jets cracker as well. Chuck a bit of that on there. I wish I had avocado or something, but that will have to do. Mm. We didn't get the big groper on fly that I was hoping for. That was probably the ultimate goal for this trip. But um, very first day within the first couple of hours, I got a decent one. And then none after that, except for one on plaque. They just wouldn't eat for whatever reason. Maybe the water's too clear. I'm running quite a heavy leader. Maybe it needs a bit more of a wash.
So I was just flying the drone and I saw two big male western blue groper. So I'm going to grab the fly rod. It's my last night. We've got to give it a go at least. Let's go see if we can find them and cast at them. And it's going to be dark in a seat, so I better take a head torch. Let's go. I don't know if I'll be able to spot them in this light or not. The sun's literally just gone down, so... Barefoot as well. Not ideal. So they're heading this way. I can't see anything. I need them to be right up on the edge if I'm going to spot them. They normally move quite slowly. They weren't this far. Let's start walking back. We'll see if we can spot them. Otherwise, yeah, I'd say the opportunity is lost. I feel like I should just have a blind cast here. Let's just put this down. Let's try it. Can't see anything at the moment. a bit of a surprise but um didn't eventuate to anything i'm going to start packing everything down now hopefully not get swarmed by mozzies so that tomorrow morning there's not too much to do and i can just pack down the tent and sleeping gear and head hopefully departure day time to pack up my sleeping quarters and get the boat into the water check out all these mozzies waiting for me there's a couple in the tent as well because the hole opened up again and i've just stuffed something in there all right let's make this happen downhill it's nice going downhill <sighs> all right that's where this big behemoth comes in this another wheel. Right, I think I should put a bit of stuff in. Last stuff. All 
All right, let's get this thing in the ocean. Come on, waves. Gonna need one now. Hit something. Yes, she goes. Just gonna head out a little bit, tie everything down. All right, that's me done for this adventure. Five days solo out here in the middle of nowhere. Four and a bit, cause today's number five and I'm leaving. But anyway, epic trip, beautiful location. Wind smashed me a bit. But uh, time to fire this uh, puppy up and get out of here. So cheers, see ya.